What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are at the Superstore. Now, I know at the time of posting this, I've already filmed this like a hundred times, but I wanted to film it on my phone and post it from my phone, man, because I'm sick of not having my own coverage kind of of the events up. So I'm just going to talk into the camera and walk around, and then we will, you know, we'll do a better edit of it with better footage on the other camera at a later day, but I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna showcase everything. I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time on every single thing because there's so much here, but the Attitude Era ring of Kane, we've already seen this. I haven't reviewed this on the channel, but it looks beautiful in person. I, I gotta unbox mine now, now that I've seen this, but this is great. Coming on the other side, guys, we have the Ringside Exclusive Defining Moments coming 2023 and these are up for pre-order you can actually order them individually or you can get this big ass box set now this big ass box set looks fantastic with the four pack i feel like i need like i hate to say this but i kind of want a men on card set now now just looking at these in package they look absolutely stunning you got mankind you have the torn pet cody you have Shawn michaels and you have brett the hitman Hart. all of them look fantastic and of, of course you have them loose here and they, I, I love this entire line i will be honest with you looking at mankind you know if, if this was our traditional videos where we'd have the the photos over you know the b-roll and we would just talk about them on my mic sitting at my desk or chair this is uh, i want to run through them just a little bit here i love the head sculpt i think that looks good he just looks a bit jacksy to me you know he looks a little bit big i don't know what torso they use here but this this figure looks fine he just kind of looks massive you know what i mean he, he just looks huge but i am digging that we have sort of just a repaint of the elite 101 cody right here and he's got the torn peg we talked about it multiple times on the channel i think uh, it looks beautiful i love the gear i'm I, I, you know my head's going crazy with ideas already for this figure so i'm excited about that the Shawn michaels is is just stunning i love the head sculpt i like the entrance gear with the, the cloth goods and everything like that. I've been waiting on this gear for a long time. You get the cowboy hat, you get the entrance gear, pretty damn perfect. And then we have Bret Hart here, which is pretty much a re-release of the ringside exclusive all pink. It looks stunning, man. You got the jacket in there, you got the all pink, the shades. It's beautiful, it's perfect Bret Hart here. If you didn't want to, you know, make your own all pink Bret, this one's the one to get. Beautiful line, I think this is a stunning return of the Defining Moments line, I am desperately waiting on the next wave i'm already you know counting down for the next wave you guys remember i said one of my most exciting things that i'm waiting on for wrestlemania access in the superstore was to see you know the future of this line so here we are but it looks brilliant uh i think i'm gonna get one of these and i'm gonna customize it to look even more brutal like it looks great but i don't think it ca quite captures the details of the bruise so i'm gonna do that and then i'm also gonna get one and then replace the torso and arms with regular torso and arms so you have cody in you know beat up and you have cody regular in that gear but that is the defining moments line i think it looks brilliant don't know why my camera's not focusing there we go looks beautiful and then of course we have the infamous crowdfunding project right here man i have said it in a lot of my videos you're gonna hear me a lot say this a lot when talking about this stage this weekend is the size is massive man i mean these letters are massive you're talking about the figures this entire stage and setup is huge um, this right here, the top part of this is like a foot long. It's it's insane. And the, the detail and the craftsmanship that was put into this stage is remarkable. You know, I did an interview with Steve and Bill, and you guys will probably see that on the channel later, but it doesn't really capture it on film and in photos how big it is. It looks it just looks insane. It's it's massive. Isn't it massive? It's massive. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. And I, I really have no words. It's that damn big. It's absolutely massive. It's deep, it's long, it's okay, that's getting weird. But even just the intricate details of the, of the you know, the steel back there, it just, I, it, my mind's running wild with ideas. This looks beautiful. You need to go back it right now. Even the letters over here are huge. So you definitely need to go back it, man. Whatever it's at right now, I don't know. But the $400 is worth the stage alone. Right here also, guys, they proved that we are getting an Ultimate Edition WCW Monday Nitro ring and figure coming in 2024, as well as Monday Night Wars Elites and Ultimates, which we can discuss later. But these are coming, you know, we kind of figured they would give us a ring again, but I was I was glad that it's coming in 2024 because we didn't need another ring. So I'm happy to wait, you know, back to stage, we can get the ring later, but this big sign is really cool. And then also they have this other setup here, which is the Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition Cast Your Vote for an Ultimate Edition Rey Mysterio and an Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins. We don't want the Shield gear. Stay far away from that. I'm fine with either of these gears. If I had to pick, I'd probably go with day one, but just don't pick the Shield one. You know what I mean? We don't want to see that. That's nothing. And then for Rey Mysterio, I would say the 20th anniversary figure. I think the debut SmackDown is kind of similar to what we've seen this year. And then SummerSlam's not terrible. You know, it's okay, but I think I like the 20th anniversary better. They didn't really pick a good photo of the attire, but I just like the military green and gold. I just think it looks really good. So I would go with this one, and I would go with day one if I were picking, but that's just me. 
And also, guys, we also had Coliseum Collection Series number three, which we figured would be shown off. You have Hot Rod Rowdy Piper right here, looking beautiful. I think the cloth goods look good. Love the new head sculpts over here. I'm, I'm loving everything we got here. One thing I didn't expect was George the Animal Steel over here. George the Animal Steel looking really good here, eating the turnbuckle pad, of course. But apparently these are coming in the fall of 2023. You also have Coliseum Collection Series 2 with Jake the Snake and Rick Rue back there. And this whole setup looks really good, but I was excited to see Hot Rod. He was one of our, uh, our wish list figures, so it's good to see him there. And then we also have Series 1 here with Terry Funk and Hulk Hogan with the, uh, with the barricade in the mat. I really like the mat down here. The whole display pieces they have here are insane. I was really glad to see Rowdy Piper included in Coliseum Collection 3. Also, guys, we have a look at Brother Love and the, uh, the Survivor Series Ultimate Edition 2-pack of Undertaker and the Gobbledygooker. Cannot believe they're showing this off, man. I love all the sculpts, the one-of-one the -one sculpts we're getting here. Don't know what kind of reuse they're going to get out of that. Probably nothing, but you have the giant egg build a figure mean gene and you have a good use of the dominic figure here i hope that the figures come with this little survivor series box i imagine it would because the box is massive which you guys will see later but brother love and undertaker look fantastic here uh really cool i, I wish they kind of would have filled this up a little bit more but gobbledy gookers insane we'll see it on the other side as well Take a look over here. We do have the WWE Superstars line. I think Bam Bam Bigelow and Mr. Perfect are the newest ones shown off here today. But I, I love this line. I like the cloth goods. They're like miniature elites almost. I just I, I just enjoy this line so much. You even have Bam Bam's tattoo on his skull. He just looks great. I love the cloth goods they include. You have a full cloth singlet with Mr. Perfect. Great head sculpt. Love the towel. Just a beautiful set. And seeing them all up next to each other looks great. I'm behind on this line, but uh, hoping to, to catch up very soon but uh i love seeing these this great looking display even got rick root over here we've seen a lot of these but we did have a couple of new additions and they look really really good so always excited to see this line and uh, i'm gonna continue collecting it as much as possible but uh this display looks nice and then over here guys we do have the new retro pack here feature right yeah it is the retro four pack here you got the ringside exclusive nwo four pack and then you have the most recent one we just got with tugboat luger Greg the Hammer Valentine and Doink, and then the new set. This this Undertaker is kind of worrisome because it is pretty much a re-release of what we already got in the main line a while back, a few years back. But you do have Vader, which is a great one. He's not a jumper, by the way. And then you have Paul Bearer, which is nice, and Jerry the King Waller. This new set looks good. I'll definitely be copping it. You know, I, I, I've been buying these sets, but just been keeping them minimum card. So they're kind of nice pieces. I enjoy them. Wish I honestly had a loose set, but I've I just been keeping them in the packaging for whatever reason. But I like all these new ones. Uh, Undertaker, I, I'd like to see different, but you know what? It is what it is, but these look good as well. We also had the mid set of Elite 100 shown off. You got the Chase Andre, regular Andre, and then you have the rest of them here. It's cool. You know, you got the goat in here, but yeah, man, just a mid set. We, we've talked about the set right we've talked about the set they actually have elite 100 here for purchase i think andre the giant's the only one that's really moving i've seen the rock move i think it's that brahma bull championship probably moving units but uh not big on this set we discussed it at nauseam on the channel for a while now so yeah we're, we're over that and then getting into the other cases guys you have this retro pack here which we just discussed here they are individually packaged and then you have the two packs with the nwo these are ringside exclusive and then we also had some battle packs and basics shown off going to run through those real quick you have mankind and the rock here new mankind with the bow tie looking all right you also have the street profits in the tennessee titans gear which is really cool um i love that they can actually get the details of the tennessee titans gear in there and angelo dawkins is actually one of the winners of the weekend which we'll get into in a moment but you got the you got the street profits you also have austin theory and cody pretty cool two pack you also notice that the uh u.s championship has the custom side plate so the championship showdown packs are going to now have custom side plates for the care uh for the wrestlers there so that'll look really nice you also have undertaker here with the inscription on the championship which is nice it kind of reuse of both guys but the championships are cool kind of some incentive to actually purchase the battle packs instead of skipping over them then you have the new day here with the raw tag title not much going on there and then you have gunther and ricochet with gunther and on the uh, IC title side plate again. So again, you get some incentive for actually purchasing the championship showdown pack. So that's pretty cool. I thought that was pretty nice, but even more money to shell out over these guys. We also have the, the, the top picks wave here. You have Roman Reigns, you have Jay Uso, Jimmy Uso, I'm sorry. You know, I gotta, gotta get it in there, but Jimmy Uso, we've reviewed that on the channel. And then you also have The Rock here, the Survivor Series. Not the Survivor Series. It's not Survivor Series. People thought this was the Survivor Series Elite. It's actually the top picks. This is the new top picks wave. Kind of a mid-set besides uh, Jimmy back there, which is just a repaint of his Elite 95. But, you know, you get the point. And then you also have the Summer Slam Elites here. We just reviewed these on the channel. Beautiful Ziggler there. But, uh, you yeah, know, we got some of those. This is one of the real winners of the weekend, guys. The Angelo Dawkins redone formula. Share my thoughts already. 
Uh, if, if I was at my own house reviewing these and talking about these, I would have lost my mind right here, man. These two look absolutely perfect. Uh, I love these. You know, they don't have lower thigh or lower calf cut or lower shin cut, whatever you want to say. But these right here won the weekend doing a redo on Angelo Dawkins and getting him a smaller formula and everything like that is perfect. This is how he should have been from the beginning, but this this is miles ahead of his Elite 81 figure. And then Montez Ford looks beautiful. Double jointed arms. He's got the Kobe jersey reference on there. Uh, these are also no Velcro. This is straight, just cloth. And then they have like the Vice, Miami Vice kind of attire on. Just looks incredible. I love these. This is beautiful. And then we move over here to Elite 103 Stardust. Again, WrestleMania 32 gear, a figure we've been waiting on. And as soon as we knew about, you know, the Elite 103 Stardust coming, we talked about it being the WrestleMania 32 gear. And it looks perfect here. The ladder it was a perfect accessory. Beautiful formula. Stardust, Cody, looks beautiful. This, These three right here have it just, it, this completes the set. And then you add on to the set with the Roman Reigns, kind of plain Jane, but he does have the Roman Superman Punch logos or the Roman Reigns logos on the boots. No red on the like tips of the feet, which kind of upsets me, but we'll live with it. You have a good Liv Morgan figure here with a women's championship from Becky Lynch and Elite 100 in the green and black, which looks really good. Reuse of the Elite 85 head. And then you have the Bobby Lashley here, which is kind of plain, but he does come with the US title with the Bobby Lashley side plates with the black and yellow attire, which is okay, but it's not my favorite. But uh, I love this set. I think the uh, Street Province and Cody or Stardust really set it off. I, I love this set, actually, as a complete whole. But these two right here are some of my favorite figures we saw all weekend. And up here we have Greatest Hit Series number two. And uh, look, at, look at this right here, Brad. Look at that right there. Elite 37 head, I know everybody's trashing this figure, and it's pretty, uh, you're justified in this, you know, it's not what everybody expected. I mean, even if you're going to do a straight up re-release of a figure, you wouldn't expect it to be the Elite, you know, the Toys R Us exclusive cash in Rollins, you would expect it to be the Elite 45, this should have definitely been the Elite 45, I don't mind them re-releasing this figure, but if they're going to do so, like I said, it's, I mean, smaller briefcase, right, updated formula, open knee pads, maybe include the vest, you know, you got the WWE Championship, but you could even do like sculpted gloved hands or something. But yeah, man, I, I wasn't feeling this one. This one really upset me. But the rest of the set, you have King Harley Race, which we already knew about. Blue Tista, which looks pretty cool. You know, it's, it's, yeah, I feel like this one looks much better than his other, you know, Blue Tista that we've seen in the past. Maybe it's just because it's got a little bit more detail. You have the WrestleMania 30, WrestleMania 14, Sean here, which looks beautiful. Beautiful looking head sculpt. I've been waiting for a re-release on this guy, especially with double jointed arms. You have DDP. This one's just, oh my God, I don't even want to open my mouth about this one. I don't know why this one's getting re-released. And then you have the Hall of Champions Taker, which looks beautiful as well. But uh, I mean, I guess this one's passable, but the DDP and the Rollins are really the ones that upset me here. But uh, yeah, I could go on about this one. We also have Elite Series 102. You got Commissioner Foley here. A new torso on Gunther. That figure looks fantastic. Cloth goods. You have Austin Theory. This head sculpt looks. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Uh, this one also looks weird, but I guess it works. Uh, I dig the Captain America gear, and then you have the Chase in the black and silver. Sami Zayn, pretty much outdated now, but you do have the big mouse trap, which I like. Terrible rubber coat, but this edge figure looks really good. I've seen some images. Head sculpt's great, and then the updated Rhea looks fantastic. Even though the, the head sculpt kind of looks like her Elite 84 to me, but besides that, it looks really, really good. Hopefully, her feet look a lot better, or they're not, you know, loose as they were last time. But uh, this whole wave looks pretty damn good. I'm, I'm excited for this wave. Should be hitting relatively soon. You know, uh, it says summer 2023, but I would guess maybe late April for this wave, and then uh, for Elite Series 103, maybe early May. Uh, it could be uh, maybe maybe later than that, but uh, I'm, I'm so damn hyped for those. Well, also got some basics up here. You got Matt Riddle, you have Pat McAfee, which looks pretty good. Liv Morgan, Hulk Hogan, John Cena with this massive bill for some reason. I don't know what's up with that one. Then you have the Top Picks Basics, which, you know, who, who cares? You know what I'm saying? We, we, we don't really care for basics, but uh, yeah, they're here. Pat McAfee's the winner of the day for me, but the rest are kind of mid. I don't really, you know, that Hulk Hogan basic is going to sell like hot cakes, but do we care? Uh, not that much. What's up, some legends that we already saw? Of course, these are coming soon. I mean, I would bet my bottom dollar. Uh, the Ultimate Edition Brent Hart was actually found today, so I bet these are coming soon. They just did a target reset. Guarantee these will be hitting any week now. 
from Mattel, obviously. So uh, I'm looking forward to these. Really looking forward to the Poly Dangerously with the suit. Put some different guys in there. And we also have Legend Series 20 here. And this is a new leg mold sculpted for Greg the Hammer Valentine. I noticed that immediately. Asked Bill and Steve about it. Is confirmed. We also have the Chase Ted DiBiase with the old man in the green. And then we also have him in the white. You guys know I love white. So that's, that's beautiful right there. I'm going to put myself in that. Maybe paint all the gold pink or something would be cool. We have Kurt Hittig, Mr. Perfect, new head sculpt, looks good. He's got the rubber top, like the ringside exclusive Undertaker figure, which nobody liked, but they said that it looks good underneath. You know, we'll have to take their word for it for now. And then we have Triple H here, did not expect this. I believe this is like 2000, if I'm not mistaken, for Triple H. Got the cloth good shirt in there. And then uh, we can't really get a look at the tights, but I imagine it's the one that's got, uh, I, I'll put a picture of it on screen if I can, but uh, I'm not home editing, so probably not. But Anyways, I, I, I think I have an idea of what that's supposed to look like, but we also have Kama, D'Lo, Brown, and The Nation, and then you have this beautiful taker. I love this head sculpt, just the whole look of him here in the cowboy hat. It's badass. Then you also have Brother Love here with the pink, and then we have the Chase D'Lo, which also looks good. Kind of reminds me of like Sub-Zero or something, but Brother Love over the top. Like this pink is so saturated, man. That is unbelievable how pink that is, but uh, you know what? It, it, I, I don't, it, who am I? The lights are too bright for me as we see above. All right, guys, then we have Ruthless Aggression Series number five, or at least five edge here. And you got the Hollywood Rock. Edge looks really good, of course. I asked them about the rated R. You know, they covered it a little bit. You have the Hollywood Rock here. Belt buckle looks incredible. Love that figure. I think that's a, that's a great addition here. They used the right torso. Fantastic. Really, really good here. MVP in the black and white. Didn't expect this. Uh, you know, I expected a different gear, maybe debut gear. But it's still clean. I like the black and white. It's really classic. And then you have the Miz here. Really good here. I, I like this, even though it's not my favorite version of the Miz, kind of like my least favorite of all time. But he's got newly sculpted hands, apparently, with like glove molds. And then we do have uh, the rest of Ruthless Aggression figures over here. You got JBL, which looks really good. You got the USA gear. Great looking head sculpt. Still hate the torso choice. Tori looks really, really good as well. We've seen her before, but she looks really good on display. And then we do have Series 3 here, which we've, we've already checked out. Still waiting on my shelf, though, by God. And then if we move on down, the Ruthless Aggression Elites are actually being replaced by the Monday Night War set. So you have Undertaker, you have Stone Cold Steve Austin. This is actually a Build-A-Figure Lex Luger from his debut, I do believe, on Nitro. And then you have Hulk Hogan here with his newly sculpted torso. He's going to have the new tan, head sculpt, all the goods there. Should be really nice. I think it looks really, really good, even though it's got the damn weight belt still. And then we have uh, Denim. Scott Hall, even though the boots and the lower legs are not accurate, you know, I, I'm still looking forward to what the figure looks like, but that did kind of bum me out, and uh, I, I'm looking forward to the Monday Night War set. Of course, this is going to go hand in hand with our crowdfunding project, which I think is what they're relying on, but yeah, I, I, I like the look of this full web, but this is, uh, I think, like the first uh, or second ever non-suited Build-A-Figure from Mattel, so that's pretty cool. Over here, we have a lot of Ultimates on display. You got the Logan Paul Mattel Creations exclusive. You even have it in men on card. Very glad I got multiples of these. You know, I think that the Logan Paul looks really good, but I think the star of the show is the Cody. This is one of my favorite figures we've seen. Uh, it just looks really good, man. I like the cloth jacket with the mixture of goods. You got the screaming head sculpt. Uh, I think this one kind of low key puts the Jazz Wears one to shame, which is kind of sad, but at the end of the day, man, you got to you gotta get better, you know? But uh, this looks really good. And then you have the packaging there, which is also massive. It, it's way bigger in person than in photos, so that looks really good. Coming up here, you have the gobbledygooker with the uh, with the egg. We've already talked about this in the display, but you do have the packaging here, which I don't know if this is going to be a continued series with the jaw-dropping debuts. Maybe we'll see on the Mattel panel later in the video, but I do plan on including the Mattel reveal panel in the video as well as uh, you know the, the figures we have here on display. And this will probably be posted at like midnight or later, so I apologize for that, but I wanted to get something up. But The Undertaker also looks good. All right, guys, I know a lot of people were tagging me in the one-night stand RVD. I don't care for this head sculpt, man. Look at this head sculpt right there. I'm not a fan of that. I don't know what it is. I think the space between his nose and top lip is too far. No ECW championship, no you know custom Money in the Bank briefcase, which sucks. But uh, I like this interchangeable head sculpt here, and uh, you know it is what it is. But I, I'm I'm digging it. I like it. I just uh, we're we're gonna have to add some stuff to it and make fix them up and stuff like that. Let's have the ruthless aggression ultimate Brock Lesnar, uh, a figure that uh, I, I don't know. I don't really care for the head sculpts either. You do have the you know the custom shirt in there. You got the WWE Championship head sculpts are kind of mid too but uh, i think it's early on i don't think it's close to, to actual release just yet the the heads you know the head sculpts are kind of eh, in my opinion 
You have the entrance grates, you know, Ruthless Aggression Ultimate Ray, which looks a lot better. You know, this is all like newly sculpted and tool, which is really awesome. You have the interchangeable head sculpt smiling, which is cool. Pretty cool Ultimate. I think it looks better in person than on render images. The Eddie Guerrero's absolutely beautiful Latino Heat shirt. Wish they'd update the head or the not the head sculpts. You do have new head sculpts back here, but you also uh, need to update the skin tone. Is what I'm saying. But get another undisputed or WWE Championship Latino Heat shirt. I love it. I, I, I love this entire line. It's like it was made for me. We have the Legends Bret Hart, which was uh, pretty much found today by by a couple people. So uh, be on the lookout at your local targets. The Legends Bret Hart Ultimate, and then this figure right here. I did not expect the tracksuit, man. Seeing the tracksuit really popped me, and apparently. His attire is going to be blue underneath instead of red. The graphic is going to be blue instead of red, so that'll be really awesome. But the tracksuit looks amazing. Uh, I don't know what it looks like on the back, obviously, but uh, I'm digging this. I think it's better than his first go around, so uh, I think that's that's epic. This entire section right here is really beautiful, so I think they did a good job. But, you know, the, the RVD head's the one I'm not feeling. And then finishing up, guys, we have the Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins. This robe is absolutely incredible. This figure looks amazing, man. I think this this and AJ Styles are going to be my favorite figures of the year, man. They just look so, like that robe is unbelievable. Love the way he looks. And then you also have Andre the Giant here. Four interchangeable heads. They said the, the title belt's going to be a running change in black. He comes with a cloth good shirt. Didn't expect that, but he looks pretty good. You have WrestleMania 7 Macho Man, which is a re-release of the Defining Moments. Jacket looks immaculate. The glitter and all this stuff looks really good. I, I, I'm hyped for the Macho Man. We knew he was coming in Ultimate Edition 18. And then the last figure is going to be Randy Orton here with the cloth goods. So apparently he has the Rick Root torso. He's got all his tattoos on there. And then uh, we do have new interchangeable head sculpts. We've got the screaming head sculpt, which doesn't really look too good, to be honest with you. But, uh, you know, I digress. You got the Elite 98 head. And then you do have another, I guess that's a Skirkin head sculpt or something. I don't know. But... He's got the cloth hoodie, which looks really good, and uh, I, I apologize for me kind of rushing through these last two. It's been so busy. I've been trying to get clips, and I've been here for forever, so I do appreciate it. But this is uh, unbelievable, man. Yeah, that RVD. Woof. Okay. We've got a new AJ in red. In Someone red, AJ Styles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Stardust, 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 Along oh, with the Chase dope. version of Ron Breaker with the tribute, yeah. you know, retro gear and his dad, oh. Rick Steiner, oh. with the single oh. one in WCW. And he's got the jacket with the dogs on it. Oh, I yes. love that. You can see that right now. I mean, this is what you didn't know. This is the real reason you didn't know. We have a surprise for you, Johnny. Surprise for me? Yes. We have something for you. No, I I thought Where we were going to Hold on, hold on. I can't see it. I thought we were can we Johnny please do a Q&A? Please do a Q&A, please. 2023, we still got Johnny Gargano. <laughs> Johnny's <laughs> trying to... All right, boys, finally back at the place after the full day. Now, this is actually the day after... Like, this is day two. This is day two right now. And so yesterday we did the full reveals and everything on the other camera and I have plenty like so much footage and stuff to go through and make videos about but I won't be able to do so until I get back home but I wanted to put up my initial thoughts and in walking through there and uh, I did go to the panel uh, tonight it was really cool got to take a selfie with Johnny Gargano and meet him and do those things got to meet a lot of guys very awesome experience so far. We have a lot to cover, right? Like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't even know if I can plug in the images or what. But Johnny Gargano Syndrome, first of all. You know, I don't know if I got clips of it or not. Solo Sokoa, what's up with his torso? I don't know. Tomorrow, I will actually be going to the Mattel Design Center. And when I go to the Mattel Design Center, I'm going to be asking them a few questions. And I'm, I hope those things come up. I'm going to do my best to try and ask them those things and all of that nature. And that'll be, again, its own separate video. I'm going to film it on my phone and on the camera. And maybe I'll have a video I can post immediately and maybe have some footage later on for other videos. So I was just sick of not posting, man. Not being able to, like, I'm documenting my experience. But I also want to be able to post something so you guys can kind of be along with me. And I'm kind of trying to balance those two things. But... Anyways, that is going to wrap up today's video on the reveals. I know it's super late or early, depending on where you are, and I do apologize for that, but I wanted to finally get my thoughts up, finally put up something 
from the Superstore because I've been there for like a combined what? Like, it feels like 10, yeah, well. 10 like 8 or 10 hours, I feel like, in the last two days, just uh, talking with everybody, meeting with everybody, talking with Steve and Bill, and just documenting everything, man. It's been a blast, but it also has been insane. But uh, that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time.